Well, hello, YouTubers. How are you guys doing? Today, I'm up here at Five Star Auto Sales in Bernie, Texas. I'd like to give a big thanks for providing the truck featured in today's in-depth review. Links to their website and contact information can be found in the video description. So today, I'm here to bring you this 2010 Ford F-250 Lariat FX4. This is going to be complete. We didn't ever view the F-250. We'll start the engine, show it off, go over some of the performance specifications, and show you many of the unique features that this truck has to offer. So we're going to get started by walking around the exterior. It's got a very nice gray exterior. Nice chrome front bumper. It's got its original 18-inch wheels wrapped in Goodyear Wrangler ATS tires. This one does have the Power Stroke diesel. Factory running boards. Keypad entry. Nice tow mirrors. This is a crew cab. Like I said, this does have the FX4 package. Factory rear bumper with built-in tow package. I'll show you inside the bed. It doesn't have a bed liner in it as you can plainly see. But it does have this nice tailgate step. I just flip this bar up, pull out the step. There you go. Now just to get in, just grab and hoist. Very nice. Okay, step down here and shut this up. Very nice. Factory dual exhaust tips. Now that's pretty much the, all the exterior of this truck. Now I'm going to go ahead and go on the interior. Inside, this does have the FX4 specific black leather interior. You have all your power options right here. Your power windows, window locks, power door locks, and power mirrors. The mirrors do automatically fold in. Just leave the trigger in the center and pull it back. And it automatically takes them in. Pull them back, and they will unfold. They do also power extend by this little controller right there. Nice feature to have if you're towing something wider than the truck and you don't want to manually extend them. So let's go ahead and jump inside here. Overall, it's a very nice looking truck. Now we'll go ahead and start the engine here. see if I can't get this off the screen. It's got 179,000 miles on its odometer. Very decent amount of miles on this truck. So, now let's go ahead and start the engine. Very nice. It's got a full leather wrapped steering wheel. Very nice and smooth power assisted steering, especially for a truck this big. Has a five speed 5R110 automatic transmission with low gear selection and, oh, and tow haul mode selected by the button on the shifter stock. Also, once you put the vehicle in reverse, it does show an integrated backup camera through, through the rear view mirror, with guidance lines on it. Putting it in park neutral or drive, it'll disappear like if it wasn't even there. Very nice. Now let's go ahead and turn on the lights. It does have automatic lights, fog lights, and hazards. The driver's side window is automatic down. All right, now let's go ahead and check out the exterior.
nice sound. Fairly quiet too. All right, now we're gonna go back inside, shut off all the lights, and now I'm gonna pop the hood and show the engine. shut the hood here roll up the wind or go back inside excuse me now we'll go ahead and see how it sounds Beautiful sounding engine. Your parking brake's located right down here. Just press to set. And the indicator light shows right up there in the dash. Then pull this lever here to release. All right, now let's go ahead and shut the door. Roll up the window. Check out some of the interior features. It's got its original Sony sound system right up here. Right here's your CD deck up above. Your, your CD folders right there. Eject, load, CD, AM, FM controller right there, auxiliary control right there, phone controls right there, menu right here, track seek over here. Well, up here is your tune, your folders are down here, shuffle, play and pause, rewind and fast forward, built into all your presets. Very nice. Four wheel drive controllers right over here. Climate controls right there, fan speeds right here, temperature for both the driver and passenger, front defrost, mirror defrost, all your different zones control right there, AC control, recycler, press this dual right here to control both sides at the same time, right here shows your outside temperature, it does have heated seats four auxiliary switches that aren't hooked up to anything at the moment but say if you want to put like an aftermarket LED light bar or work lights then it already has the switch built in brake controller down here built-in cup holders down below nice little storage pocket underneath another power point another one over here Microsoft sync and USB glove box Two storage pockets on the side of the doors. Center console storage. Another power point down there. Two cup holders mounted right there. Visors with your vanity mirrors. Reading lights up above. Some glass holders. Right here's your power pedal adjust. Right here is all the controls for your heads up display. Right here it does have a tire pressure monitor fault. Trip A, trip B, miles to empty, average miles per gallon, timer, all your setups, English to metric, auto lock, rear parking aid, and reset it right there. Your radio controls are on the left of the steering wheel, voice activation media up here, phone controls over here, cruise control off to the left, wiper controls on the turn signal stock, 
does have a tilt steering wheel. Manual, or excuse me, power sliding, tilting driver's seat with manual recline and manual lumbar support. I can show you the back seat. It does have a pretty good amount of room back here. I'm 6'5 in height, and this is how much room I have back here. Two more reading lights for the back passengers. Power point right there. Storage pocket on the back of the front seat. Oh, right here, I never got to show you. This is a control for your power sliding rear window. Works very nice. Little storage pockets on the side of the door. The bottom of the seat does fold up for extra cargo space. You have two little flip down storage trays. Like they have two cup holders on the back. Overall, this is a very nice looking truck. I'm going to go ahead and shut it down here. Well guys, I hope you all enjoyed this in-depth review of the 2010 Ford F-250 Lariat FX4. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.